Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to my garage. Finally we are home and uh, yeah, we came back from Slovakia about three weeks ago. So uh, now it's time to do something at home. Um, I will be posting still some videos from uh, Slovakia. I made some cool interview, you probably see that and uh, seen a couple of the videos I already posted. Uh, they are not about Harleys, well, except one. Uh, but at least there is a little bit of about Slovakian culture and a place where I come from and a history and all that stuff. Well, this video is gonna be a bit different. I just thought um, that I'll make a video about um, what I do when I prep for a trip. Next weekend is a uh, midwinter motorcycle rally. Uh, it's been going for over 40 years or something. It's called Cold Kiwi. It's in the middle of North Island, up in the mountains, next to the next to the Ruapehu and Tongariro National Park. Um, it's a bunch of volcanoes, well, three, and uh, we're just gonna go there next weekend for a couple days. So um, yeah, sometimes they have snow. It's gonna be pretty cold, so um, that's okay. I'm taking my uh, blue iron, 1970. So we're just gonna go. Uh, through it, I'll show you what I pack. The weather is absolutely miserable. It just stopped raining now, but it's still drizzling. Well, it's still raining, but hopefully tomorrow, uh, next weekend, it's gonna be better. So, um, yeah, let's have a look. So, what we got here is I carry a simple canvas bag, which will sit on the back of the bike. You've probably seen it before. I into that I have a little waterproof bag which I'll have some clothes. I have a little tent. This is a Czech brand. I love these huskies. Uh, I had a tent for about tents for about 15 years and they are amazing. This is a little two-person one, but it's a uh, really nice and compact and super light. That usually is wrapped up in a tarp, which I tarp, I use tarp to cover the back if it's bad weather. And then that goes on the front. Uh, with the strips, um, the strips are quite cool. I don't know if you guys get it, but I, you can get these in uh, stores. It's called Grand Versa Strap. They are nice little rubberized things. So I use that to tie everything down. Oh, stay. Okay. And this is my little mat. I have a sleeping bag that all will be in the waterproof stuff. I have some battery packs for the phone and stuff. There is, um, I have those, um, what is it, power oil things. And some small packs. And this time I'm taking tires. I have bought some uh, small tubes, or tires. I bought some tubes from the rear. They are just a uh, thin wall uh, tire tubes. They are quite tiny because compared to uh, what I run at the moment, it's a heavy duty tubes. And uh, <laughs> that's a rear tube compared to the other tube. So um, I don't have room for these. But this will, will get me out of a trouble. Like the last uh, last video I posted when I got a flat tire, uh, we could I could find people who could take the wheels off and balance it, but I couldn't find a tube to go inside. So um, yeah. And then uh, we have some rain gear, jacket and trousers. And I thought, hmm, my boots are pretty pretty done. Uh, they are just old Doc Martens and they definitely not waterproof. So uh, before I always carry a bunch of plastic bags to put put a sock on, put a plastic bag on and then the whole thing you shove in a boot. And that keeps your um, feet warm and dry but your boots get too completely drenched. So I decided that oh, I'm not gonna run in the gum boots but <laughs> I'm gonna take a roll of glide wrap. 
and I'm going to experiment. I'm going to wrap my boots in a glide wrap in a way that the sole will stay exposed and rest will be glide wrapped all the way up my ankles. So fuck it, I'll give it a go. See, uh, see what happens. So that's kind of my packing. I'll show you what I have in my toolbox. Um, just what I carry for tools if something goes uh, wrong with the motoric side and electrics and um, I need to um, check the tune on a bike just make sure she's run well so this one has to go off the cradle at the moment unfortunately when I was changing the tires I have I think punctured the tube that's why she's on the block I only noticed it when I was leaving home so I'm gonna put some air in the tire, she'll last for half a day, she'll go off the rail and I'll put this bike on and um, um, we'll tune the other bike. I was going to change the tube and put one of the, the big walls in, but right now I can't be bothered, I'm too tired for that. So um, alright, let's um, oh, have a look at my toolbox. This is what I carry. I have a fancy keep it dry roller sand sock, which is about three times bigger than I need. And to be honest, I rode um, in the rain without the sock and just a little foam cover was plenty. So I don't even use this anymore. And this comes, this bag comes from my shaver. It was quite nice and a good size. So this is what I carry. Space spring for the kickstand. I have a couple of condensers in here and I think the points arm. I have spark plugs. I have another spark plug. I have a small screwdriver, zip ties, Phillips, which I have shaven, um, sandpaper, here I have, oh, these ones are um, filler gauges, a little uh, plastic thing for points, and this is the dielectric grease, so you can grease your points or connection there, it'll keep the electricity flowing, but uh, it's water resistant, so um, that's for all for the points. And then I have some Allen keys, I have my little handy dandy tool to put the kickstand spring on to pull in, I have my little, as I would call it, handmade little G-string, <laughs> little thong to keep the um, uh, push rod covers up. I have a small adjustable random assortment of nuts which already broke and it's everywhere. I might as well change the bag. I have a little handy dandy tool, a um, little, uh, you know what it is, some spinners, just the three because I kind of need uh, generally 716, 3 8s. 916 half an inch and I don't know what I have the 516 for I found some use for it have a little wire brush um, this thing I actually use to unscrew the uh, primaries all uh, cap off little piece of uh, electrical tape little extension for the socket and then I have a bunch of sockets and, oh, look, I don't have to carry this. I didn't even know I had this. Uh, it was the same purpose. So we can keep that in. And more sandpaper. And I have a handy dandy mirror. So when I am adjusting points when I'm on the road, I um, usually put the bike in a gear 
and then I, you know, plug Zara out and I roll the bike, try to get it to uh, the advanced position, try to find a line on a flywheel. But when you're sitting on a bike and pushing the bike, you can't exactly see into the hole. So I use my little mirror, holding it by the hole, and I push the bike until I can see the TDC mark. And that's why I have a mirror. And that's my toolkit. I don't have any big branches for the rear wheel and stuff, but what's the point? I can't take the wheel off the bike anyway on the side of the road, so no point having them. This is all just the basic electrical and a small thing just to tie, tie, tighten a few things up. So um, yeah, that's my toolkit. That's always with me. Um, that's it. All right. Time to uh, get the bike on a trolley and uh, give her a little tune. Uh, let's get to it. Well, here is the update. I tried to uh, fill the tire in and listen to that. And it's not valve. It's going from all around there. So the tube must have broke there. Hmm. Okay. So I can't get the bike off the... Surely, damn it. Mm. Maybe, as I was saying about checking this bike without having it on uh, on the thing, I'm just gonna do it as she is. So I'm gonna put the bike in the middle and do it on a go. And I use the mirror to find the uh, TDC. Good that I put all the tools away. <laughs> And I don't have a spare mirror, so okay, never mind, let's do that. Well, I was gonna do it on a fly, but I'm too lazy to try to think right now. I'm a bit tired, haven't slept much last night. Um, so I just lifted the bike on the blocks, just holding, you know, it's dodgy as yes? I hold it with one hand while I pump the jack with the other hand, then shovel it with the foot in. Dodgy as hell, but I should probably buy myself some kind of jack, some what would sleep under and lift the bike up. Well, this is what it is for now. So I can, uh, at the moment, I can spin the rear wheel, so take the plugs out and uh, let's get it tuned. Push rods are done, they are all set. Now we will do the um, points. Tip, 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 tip. So I checked the spacing. We are 0 0.18 thousandths of uh, inch set on both uh, big lobe and small lobe. I have a piece of plastic and I am. Uh, oh. <coughs> Let's take you for a spin. I'm on a... I can't even see. Can you? No, wait a second. You see the line in there? So we are on the uh, compression stroke on the front cylinder. I just put my thumb in it and feel for the air come out. And then I, as soon as I can feel the air coming out, I'll look for the line which is the advanced mark. So, uh, let's just set this up. That's about right. And I don't know if you can see. I'll take it off. 
I don't know if you can see down here. I always make myself a mark to the Sharpie. So I know my stock. Um, sit. So if I'm around there, then it's my stock set and then I can have a little play if I need to adjust. So I'm just gonna get the key and give her a start. <laughs> I don't know how many times I do it when I get set the points up, I get all excited to go and uh, uh, start a bike up and I realize, oh wait a minute, I still didn't, put, didn't cover the hole, you would have a waterfall of oil, I didn't even put the plugs back in, <laughs> so let me put the plugs back in and then we can give it a go. charge we'll give her a little bit of time or let's try anyway That's enough. I think we can uh, just keep it as is. I know it's cold. She's cold. I might um, uh, check the tune when she hot when, when she's hot when I'm riding. Uh, I'm not gonna run her here in uh, inside the garage. Um, yeah, that's okay. I'll just park her up. She's ready for the weekend. I'll just put some petrol on. Get all my extra gear on and um, that'll be it okay this was a bit of a uh, interesting one I uh, will uh, finish this video when I finish packing and then I'll post it separately uh, how the bike looks and uh, how my boot looks like when I'm all uh, uh, glide wrapped <laughs> all right Okay, I'll be back. All right, so this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching my preparation. I'm ready. Um, bike's packed. I have everything there. Extra petrol. My sleeping bits. Everything is in uh, in uh, waterproof stuff. I have my tent and a tarp. The weather's miserable. It's howling wind and... Uh, 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 I can see there is a little bit of break in the weather, but it's still raining right now. There is a bit of a clear that way, so we'll try to chance it without the rain gear. But um, yeah, um, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed a little prep and um, I'll see you on the right. 
hopefully the next video will be about a uh, uh, cold Kiwi motorcycle rally in New Zealand, so um, the middle winter stuff. I just hear the rain. Alright, let's get on the road. No point waiting. See ya. Thanks for watching.